Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, tonight we're going to do a DE shave because I haven't used a DE for a while. And why not, right? Uh, now, if you notice the intro, that is brand new, courtesy of Tim over at the Scented Soldier. Uh, he was kind enough to create that and what you'll see at the end of the video as well. So, Tim, thank you. Highly recommend checking him out. He is, if you like fragrances and great descriptions on fragrances and all that, he is definitely a frag head. Um, check him out. Uh, so what I'm going to use this evening, I've already taken the razor apart, but I'm using the Astra SP, uh, one of these blades that came with the leaf because they worked so well on my head, I figured I'd try them on my face. Because normally Astras in the past have not worked out too well for me. However, I think I was using the laser etched ones and not the printed ones as you can see that these are. So these are the, I guess, new old stock, which is kind of sad. <laughs> and these, I don't think they're that old, uh, but we'll give them a go. Now also this week, uh, if you see, you see the hashtag in the description, I've been doing WSP week because Melanie or Mel uh, is getting married this weekend. Uh, the filming this, this is Thursday evening and she gets married on Saturday. So Mel, congratulations uh, to you and your husband because I'm sure you'll be watching this if you watch this at all after the wedding and everything else. So congratulations. I hope you have a fantastic life together. Uh, very excited for you. Now because it is WSP week in celebration of Mel and her upcoming wedding. Uh, tonight, I am going to use the Formula T of Bay Rum. And as you can see here, it has a little dent. I did get this uh, in kind of a scratch indent uh, portion at Maggard's when I was there at the end of last year. So that is a perfect example of what Chris Bailey was talking about with the tins and why he doesn't like them. And they're small, uh, so it's hard to load from the container, though it can be done. And just for you, Chris, um, I got my C Mister here, courtesy of Glenn Helly. He'll recognize this one. Something I've done on and off for a year and a half, a year or something like that. And the brush I'm using is my Craving Shaving uh, Chop Shop, uh, I think I call this Blue Remix. Uh, Charles didn't have a name for it when he uh, made it and I bought it. He and I were chatting one day and he said, yeah, I think I'm about selling this uh, brush that has the tester badger synthetic, super high dense, he was testing this and a couple other knots. Uh, they ended up going with the fan. Uh, the fan synthetic hybrid mix knot and uh, he told me I was thinking about selling this and I have to buy it. So we're going with that. We have the game changer loaded up with the first use Astra SP and here we go. See how this this blade works on the face and because I'm used to Using a chevette, I'm stretching the skin like I normally would with a chevette. See if that gets me closer to DE. Now, Dave, I know you did tag me in the Zoom, Zoom Groom Challenge. I still haven't forgotten about that. Uh, it's just been crazy here. And we moved Saturday, and. You can see our house right now. Oh, oh man, there's boxes and stuff everywhere. I just found my box of blades. Luckily, I have all my razors. I knew where those were. I brought those over early. So 
I had my razors and my brushes, my aftershaves, just not my razor blades. So I had to find those and I was digging through some boxes and I found those today, luckily. And the misting, it's just for you, uh, Chris. Don't want to lose the privileges of using the mister. That really is faster than using the sink. Kind of less messy too. Now the scent on WSP's Bay Rum is exactly that. It's Bay Rum. It's, it's not trying to do anything fancy. It doesn't need to. Because it works. And it works well. Now, if you like bay rums, or just a traditional classic bay rum scent, I can definitely recommend WSP's big take on bay rum. If you don't, nah, stay away. It has, I think it has clove in the, you know, standard uh, bay ingredients. What I'm using this evening happens to be in the Tello formula or formula T, which some will claim is easier to lather than their uh, rustic. But I have both formulas. I mean, I have Dragon's Blood in both Tello or formula T and the rustic and Honestly, I can't tell the difference in creating a lather. They, they both lather very well. And they're both exceptionally slick. They're just great bases. I think they're slightly underrated. You don't see them a whole lot in Shave of the Days. Sure, to see them a little more and more now. Um, I'm seeing WSP a lot more now that Mel is kind of in charge of their social media and everything. I know she's been very active in the community since she started. But um, with everything going on right now with her life, she graduated college, uh, getting married. So she's been kind of busy. Uh, now I do feel privileged uh, when I was down in Arizona last year on vacation, uh, we were in Phoenix and we were staying in Chandler, which is where WSP is located. And I've spoken to Melter Messenger a few times here and there, and obviously purchased some stuff from WSP. And and uh, what were the interactions? I think you know we I consider Melanie a friend. So I was able to go in and see the store and everything, and talk to her a little more, kind of get to know her a little more on a personal level, not just the shaving community shaving side of things and she's a great person. Definitely wish her well in everything going forward. Man, forgot how smooth this razor was. Very smooth. It's kind of nice to follow up a couple of days of Chevette. Shaving with a DE. Kind of get those hairs that I can't get with a Chevette. Residual on this stuff is just ridiculous. So I had 
Uh, I was talking to uh, Jim Combs, or Jim Co. Shave today. Had a good conversation about the future, which is one of my favorite razors. And kind of comparing it to the Ming Shi, and I can do adjust the settings and how they, even though they come one through six, there's actually 12, that's right, 12 settings on the future and the Ming Shi. Jim posted a video on that uh, today, actually. Well, I watched it today. There'll be a link to that video in the description, or if I can figure out how to do those little cards, it'll be up in there. Now, I knew I could change the settings on the, the future, or on the Ming Shi, or the, um, the other clone, but I didn't know about the future. So, thank you, Jim, for telling me that as well. I didn't, I didn't know it was a possibility. But anyway, that is my shave. Um, amazing how quickly I can do it with a DE <laughs> instead of using a shave that. Uh, and again, thank you, Tim, for the logo. Tim over at the Scented Soldier. There'll be a link to his channel below as well, as well as Jim and IMCB. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to clean up off camera. Trying to keep this a little bit shorter. Uh, now, Dave Cowley, I have not forgotten about the challenge. Um, I'm getting ready to head out of town this uh, weekend for the three-day weekend, going up to a family cabin, uh, social distancing and, and everything. So, um, won't be interacting with people. And we won't have internet. <laughs> so, I may record it up there, but I won't post it until next week, or it'll be posted next week before the end of the month. Um, so, I can get in there for uh, Pacific Pacific Shave Co. So anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in, for staying with me till the end, and uh, thank you to the new subscribers and all my subscribers. I deeply appreciate it. Um, so I'll catch you guys next week. Hope you all have a good one.